And as Stonehenge is lit with pictures of Queen Elizabeth for her jubilee, we look at the image of Britishness the Queen projects around the world. The cost of living crisis in the classroom. Teachers call for more children in England to be given free school meals to stop them going hungry. European football's governing body announces an independent investigation into the chaos that marred the Champions League final in Paris. The half-term holiday nightmare. Good morning. More than 30,000 people have faced cancelled flights as airport disruptions continue. Why is it happening and what are your rights when things go wrong? this morning's front pages. Let's start off then with the Eye newspaper, which describes the threat to Boris Johnson's political future as growing by the day, with speculation mounting that the number of letters of no confidence submitted may now be nearing the threshold to hold a vote on his leadership. That is, of course, 54. The Guardian hears that the Prime Minister's shift towards more overtly right-wing policies in recent days is what has prompted backbench unrest. Now, the mill leads with concerns from ministers that the cost of living crisis has pushed the cost of filling the average family car with diesel to more than £100. According to the Telegraph, all but one police force in the country has missed its targets of answering 90% of 999 calls within 10 seconds. The only force to succeed was Avon and Somerset. The Metro reports on massive airport queues over the half-term school holidays, delays which are expected to continue into the Jubilee weekend. And, uh, well, if you are heading abroad this, uh, this uh, half-term, as uh, some people are having, uh, then maybe you're having struggles doing so. The number of the papers this morning, including the Metro here, leading with travel chaos uh, at airports for that getaway. The paper saying that staff shortages, of course, misery for millions, leaving families sleeping on airport floors, queuing for up to eight hours for flight, and then getting your baggage as well at the other end can be a nightmare yeah, too. It doesn't uh, always Nina, arrive, does it? Nina will have that in a second for us. Times reports that a government source has blamed the travel disruption on airports and airlines for overcutting staff during the pandemic. It also features that image you can see there of the case protecting the Mona Lisa being wiped clean after a protester threw cake at it. Ambushed with cake. Uh, we've heard about that before, haven't we, Summer? And elsewhere, <laughs> the Daily Mail reports that uh, ministers are facing mounting pressure to cut fuel taxes further uh, after the cost of living uh, and uh, filling a family car with diesel past £100 for the first time. And the Daily Telegraph leads with news that police forces are routinely failing to answer 999 calls within target times in the wake of the pandemic. Data reveal nearly 3 million people per year are being left to wait longer for help than the national target of 10 seconds.